everyone. My name is Meher Razarian, uh, .omg. Uh, I'm Armenian, and I would like to talk about the Armenian Genocide. <coughs> it's uh, one of the worst events of the Armenian history, and probably one of the worst in human history. So, uh, Armenian Genocide acquired, acquired in uh, the First World War from 1915 to 1922 Ottoman Empire. Um, Turkish government denies that this event that acquired was, uh, can be constituted as a genocide, but scholars and historians think otherwise, and they um, maintain that the systematic slaughtering of 1.5 million Armenians uh, is, can be considered the world's first holocaust, one of the world's first holocausts. And as, as in Second World War, this same story shares the same origins of uh, religious bias to cleanse and exterminate uh, certain specific population. Due to the sensitivity of this topic, I would like to inform you that this topic in no way meant to harm anyone's or offend anyone's religious beliefs or affiliations. Let's just focus on why and how such crimes against humanity can happen and what, effect, what, what kind of effect they can have on future on um, society. So, um, let's start uh, from Armenia. Uh, Armenians in Ottoman Empire used to be a minority. Uh, they used to live in the Armenian homeland, which is the historic place of Armenians, but, which was occupied by the Ottoman Empire during the centuries of war. And so that's why Armenians were a minority in Ottoman Empire. And uh, you can see how small uh, the current day Armenia is compared to historic, um, historical Armenia. And also, uh, Armenia is the first Christian nation which adopted the Christianity three, uh, in 301 AD, way before the Ottoman Empire. So thus, the Armenians also were a religious minority in uh, Muslim Ottoman Empire. Um, so, how does Armenian genocide happen? The American missionaries in mid-1800s brought the Western ideas with the European intellectuals to Ottoman Empire. They started to found uh, schools, libraries, and hospitals. And Armenians actually in Ottoman Empire was considered as kind of like a um, second class citizen and were treated unequally because of their, uh, because they were minority, both religious and also demographical. So, these Western ideas that have been brought by American missionaries and European intellectuals, they kind of fueled the um, nationalist movements of Armenians, um, and they did a lot of protests to gain freedom, um, protection, um, and autonomy. Uh, because, as I told you, um, Armenians were not treated equally in the Ottoman Empire. So, they did protests in, um, 1894. Um, so in 1894, Abdul Hamid II violently suppressed the protest with killing 100,000 Armenians and also replacing um, five, uh, 500,000 Armenians uh, in two year in two year period. And also in 1908, uh, the political movement Young Turks, uh, they gained independence for Turkey and um, they're driven by nationalist fervor between 1915 and 1922. Young Turks attempted to eliminate through extermination and exile Armenians in what has been called the first genocide of the 20th century where 1.5 million Armenians were killed. Um, my great-grandmother still cries every time when she's uh, telling the stories on how her uncle would been burned alive in, uh, were burned alive in stone oven by the Ottoman um, soldiers or how their siblings used to hide in, um, uh, in closets and watch how their families are getting killed alive. And this isn't, a uh, long time ago. Uh, on the 24th of April, there's gonna be 103rd anniversary of Armenian Genocide. So, as we know how and why these events happened, let's 
let's see what kind of effect can this thing has. First of all, not only Armenians were killed, but also over 1 million Greeks and 450,000 Assyrians were killed during these uh, events. Uh, so over 3.5 million people were massacred. And also, a lot of uh, Armenians were scattered throughout the world, like one of the biggest communities are um, in Russia, America, also a lot of Armenians fled to the Middle East, and they've made a huge diaspora for Armenians. So as you can see, these events kind of similar to what happened in the um, Second World War, and you will think um, maybe there are certain similarities, there's, but there's, and you will be right, but there is not only similarities, there is also a connection. Uh, a lot of generals of Adolf Hitler told him that uh, history will not forgive us if the Holocaust will happen. But this is what Adolf Hitler says, that our strength lies in our intensive attack uh, and our barbar barbaria barbarity. After all, who today remembers a genocide of Armenians? And that's why Armenians today are practicing and they're trying to get the uh, worldwide recognition of Armenian genocide. Because we believe that we are not ensured that similar events will happen if uh, the hate and uh, ignorance are st still present, which when Turkey does not recognize the Armenian genocide and oppresses all the uh, reporters and people who are trying to inform people about these issues. Although a lot of countries have uh, recognized the Armenian genocide. That's why we have to um, be aware of all these issues because we cannot be sure that such things will, um, will not happen again in history. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so Caitlin, Alex, and Joe.